That's all for today class. Get ready for a quiz tomorrow about solving system of nonlinear equations and their applications in real life. Yes, sir. Goodbye and thank you, class. Goodbye and thank you, Sir Moses. You look sad today. What's wrong? Don't make fun of me when I tell you, okay? Why would I make fun of you? I don't know. You're always like that. Just spill the beans, man! I think I'm not ready for the quiz tomorrow. Why not? I can't even understand a single thing. We learn at different paces, man. I know how to help you. I have a friend who is good at mathematics. I think he can help you. His name is Maverick, and I think you two are going to have a good time. Maverick? Hey, what brings you here? I want you to meet Jan. He wants to learn more about mathematics. I'm struggling to understand systems of nonlinear equations. Can you help me? Oh, that one? No problem. I'll help you. I'll leave you two for a while. Have a great time! An equation that cannot be written in the form of ax plus by plus c equals zero is considered as nonlinear. There are three methods in solving systems of nonlinear equations, but for now, I will use the substitution method. For example, there are two equations. The first equation is x squared plus y squared equals 1. The second equation is y equals to x minus 1. First step is to substitute the value of y in the second equation to the first equation. Expand the power, then combine like terms. Factor out the equation and use the zero product property to get the value of x. Since we already know the value of x coordinates, substitute the two values to any equation to solve for y. Check the answers by substituting. Wow, I didn't know it yeah, was that exactly. simple. So, how can we relate this into real life? Do you have any ideas? Do you like to play sports? Yes. I love to play basketball. Perfect! We can use that as our example. The average perimeter of a basketball court is 86 meters, while the area is 420 square meters. All we have to do is find their length and width. To find the perimeter, we use the equation 2L plus 2W. Our first equation is 2x plus 2y equals 86. Our second equation is xy equals 420. Let's use the substitution method again. Solve for y in equation 2 and substitute the value of y in equation 1 to solve for x. Multiply both sides of the equation by x and set the equation equal to 0. Factor the left side of the equation to solve for x. Since x is assigned as the length, let's consider x is equal to 30. Substitute 30 to equation 2 and we'll have 14 as our width. The final answer is x is equal to 30 and y is equal to 14. Thank you so much Maverick, it's a big help. Don't sweat it man. As I've said, we will have a quiz. Yes, sir! I've already checked your quizzes. I hope that we passed. I really hope I can pass this quiz. Congratulations! Everyone passed! Wow! I can't believe it! I actually passed the quiz! Yay!